good morning to everyone i am devesh banerji lecturer of electronics and telecommunication department today i discuss the next sampling technique which is natural sampling okay this is the natural sampling okay and this is the practical method previous lecture i discuss the instantaneous sampling or ideal sampling which is not a practical method that was used for theoretical method but today i discuss the practical method of sampling which is called the natural sampling so first point is this sampling this sampling is a practical method okay this sampling is a practical method and second is in instantaneous sampling the width of the pulse tau is equal to 0 but in the natural sampling the pulse has finite width has finite finite width equal to tau equal to tau but tau is not zero means the width is not zero okay and third is the principal operation of natural sampling depends on chopping okay chopping principal this sampling depends on depends on chopping principal chopping principal okay so the this is the block diagram of natural sampler which is natural sampler natural sampler is a circuit which produce the natural sampling or which produce the natural sampling technique is called the natural sampler okay so here and here two signal is input two signal so the here the input one is continuous time signal continuous time signal which is denoted by xt and another is periodic prio dik pulse strain pulse strain okay which has a uh, finite width okay and the output is the natural sampled signal sampled signal okay so here uh, the continuous time signal is this is the continuous time signal okay here the t and the xt and this is the con continuous time signal so this is the continuous time signal and second is this is the continuous time signal and second is periodic pulse strain here the periodic pulse strain okay and periodic pulse strain is denoted by ct okay periodic pulse strain is denoted by ct so this is the periodic pulse strain okay this is the periodic pulse strain and here also 
the periodic pulse strain okay the time period is this is the ts okay this is the time period ts okay so this is the periodic pulse strain okay and here the continuous time signal and this is the uh, periodic periodic pulse strain strain which is denoted by ct okay periodic pulse strain is denoted by ct here two signal is multiplied each other continuous time signal and periodic pulse strain is multiplied multiplied and then generate a natural sampled signal which is and uh, and this is the continuous time signal xt and this is the periodic pulse strain is denoted by ct and two signals are multiplied each other and then the output is natural sampled signal so the out, the diagram of natural sample signal is just two signals are multiplied so the natural sample signal is denoted by zt okay natural sample signal is denote, denoted by gt okay so the signal is this type of signal just like a continuous time signal okay this is the continuous time signals this is the continuous time signals and this is the natural sampling signal the width this is the finite width okay this is the finite width and this is the finite width this is the finite width and this is the finite width this is the finite width okay this is the finite width and, and this is the diagram of natural sampled signal natural sampled signal okay so the continuous time signal is analog in nature and natural sample signal is discrete in nature okay so the diagram and circuit diagram is is here the circuit diagram okay this is the circuit diagram of natural sampler which generate the natural sampling signal this is the input and this is the continuous time signal x3 and they are is a switch okay this is the switch switches and here uh, ct okay here ct which is the periodic pulse strain and output of the natural sampler is denoted by gt okay so this is the natural natural sampler this is the circuit diagram of natural sampler here the continuous time signal here the periodic pulse strain and the output is gt which is natural sampled signal gt okay so when natural sampling principle depends on chopping principle let us consider the an analog continuous time signal xt to be sample at the rate of fs hertz okay so the xt xt to be sampled sampled at the rate of at the rate of f is hard okay and second is lesser quantity the sampling function ct which is train of periodic pulse of with tau ct has a has width of width tau okay okay third is gt is obtained gt is obtained obtained by multiplication of by multiplication 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 of ct and xt multiplication of ct and xt okay so and fourth is when ct goes high when ct goes high ct goes high means this signal this is the high when the ct goes high when the ct goes high switches in the circuit the switch is is closed is closed therefore therefore 
जी टी इज उगल टू जी टी इज उगल टू एक्स टी ओके हुएन हुएन सी टी गोज हाई मीन्स ए इट इज डिनोटेड बाई एम्पलीट्यूड ए सो जी टी इज उगल टू एक्स टी हुएन सी टी इज उगल टू ए ओके एंड जी टी इज उगल टू जीरो हुएन सी टी इज जीरो ओके सो हायर ए इज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द सी टी सो जी टी जी टी इज इक्वल टू द एक्स टी हुएन सी टी इज उगल टू ए सो एस इज क्लोज एंड जी टी इज उगल टू जीरो मीन्स एस इज ओपन हुएन सी टी इज उगल टू जीरो दिस इज द नैचरल सैम्पल सिगनल एंड we consider the natural sample output is this this is the natural sample output which has a finite width okay has finite width which is equal to the tau okay which has a finite width and equal to the tau this is the natural sampling technique okay thank you